I'm Jay from Citizen. I'm Nick from Citizen. And you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I'd like to welcome you to our interview with Citizen. Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you both doing today? Great. Wonderful. I'm so glad to hear that. I just want to say thanks for taking the time to have a chat. We're really excited about this. Absolutely. So you're now on tour with a pretty amazing lineup. Just how have the show's been treating you so far? Are you having a good time? Yeah, it's been really crazy. Uh, we're winding down. There's like three more shows yeah. left. So um, it's been exhausting, but very cool. Um, I think yesterday was like the 24th or 25th sold out show of tour, which is insane. We have no business being on a tour <laughs> like that. So uh, it's very cool. We're yeah. excited. We knew it was going to be good, but we didn't know it was going to be as successful as it proved to be. So super crazy and everybody's been very very nice and we made some new friends and that's really important too you know so we were surprised that there was such a warm welcome for you i guess so yeah like i said it's a great lineup and everybody yeah. has awesome records out and stuff but i didn't think it was going to be as uh, crazy as it was well being that there are only three shows left as you mentioned when you look back on all the shows you've played in the cities did any moments stick out to you as particularly memorable or just something that you had a lot of fun doing uh one of my favorite days was in el paso texas which I feel like is one of the shows that would just kind of, I don't know, like you wouldn't stop and think much about it. You'd just be like, oh man, like we got to play El Paso. It's just like kind of out of the way or whatever. Um, and it was my favorite show of tour and everyone on the tour played wiffle ball together, like at <laughs> a parking lot across the street. It was just like a super fun day. We had an off day after that and got to go to like uh, go-karts and shit. Oh, and it nice. Was, it was cool. So, you know, I really liked El Paso, and I feel like it was a pleasant surprise, you know. Awesome. How about yourself? Uh, that was really good. There's been a couple, of, like, smaller cities that have really been surprising us, which is really cool to see that our record goes that far, you know, into these, like, small kind of crevices in America and stuff. But um, we've also been talking about the Toronto show. We are historically seem to have a really fun time whenever we come play here. And I hope that happens today. Hopefully we live up to yeah, that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, on the music front, your record, Everybody is Going to Heaven, was released last year. Mm -hmm. So what's next for you guys? Have you started recording or writing anything? Uh, not really. <laughs> writing a, a little bit, but like okay. nothing nothing worth talking about. Yeah. Um, you know, we're just going to, after this, we're going to take a little break from like U.S. touring or Canadian touring and kind of just figure out what's next. Um, yeah, so we'll see. I don't know. I don't have a good answer. Well, I read that you kind of have a difficult time writing on the road. Is that true? Is that something that's yeah, a little... Yeah, that's not acceptable. Writing in general. Really. <laughs> writing in general. <laughs> on the road, for sure. But on but the road is at home is also very... I don't know. It's just once we get the ball rolling, everything seems to fall into place. Mm. But okay. it's just a matter of doing that yeah. part of it. But otherwise, we have some idea kicking around. There's some audio files in our cell phones. Nice. and. You know, we're starting to try to brainstorm early. We keep saying we'll do better with the writing process each record, and it so far happens. it hasn't happened. But <laughs> yeah. I think, but I'm gonna say that this one is this the one. This is the year. Yeah, this that's time right. It's gonna happen. Totally. From the album, my favorite track's probably "Yellow Love." It's one of those songs I can just listen on, on repeat for like hours. It's just so calm. I love it. Nice. But after listening to it so many times, I still can't exactly put my finger on what "Yellow Love" is. So for both of you, what's "Yellow Love"? Uh, well, this is straight from the mouth of Matt because he wrote the lyrics, so. Uh, but yellow love is kind of like tainted love. Just, I don't know. That, I don't want to. Toxic relationships. Yeah. That just of all layers, you know. It doesn't have to be like your romantic involvement with somebody. Right. Just your relationship with anybody in general, I think. Like right. Jake and I. That's right. <laughs> yellow love. Having the yellow love between you two now that you've been in the Yeah, it's toxic, for, straight up. It's toxic? I was oh, going to yeah, ask, what totally. are some of your favorite things about one another to kind of spin it on the other side? Well, my favorite thing about Jake is that he's a humorous boy. He's a vibe provider, you know? You so when we're on the road. On yeah, that's right. He's kind of my shelter sometimes. Sometimes, you know, if I'm butting heads with other people, go to Jake. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, what I like about Nick is he keeps the uh, creative fires burning big time you know what I mean he's constantly coming up and thinking and never settling on anything and I'm always very impressed by the stuff he brings to the table go on <laughs> he wants more and I provide incredible <laughs> vibes <laughs> I just want to do a little quick fire with both of you all right cool. all right you ready <laughs> I think so ready? You well, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> uh, the best meal you've had on this tour 
The shawarma yesterday in Ottawa was insane. Okay. Canada's got great shawarma. Yes. Yeah. I had a really good meal somewhere. I don't remember. Quick fire. Dude. I'm gonna. All right. I'm gonna say, <laughs> Conchac in Pennsylvania, the pub. The last photograph that you took on your phone. Selfie for my girlfriend. <laughs> I don't even. I actually don't know. You don't know. No. <laughs> Favorite, Probably a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite thing to do when you aren't creating or focusing on music? Uh, graphic design. Okay. Films. Films? Yeah. Like watching films or do you kind yeah, of dabble in watching. creating them? I'm watching. a spectator. <laughs> I've, da- we'll, we've all, I've dabbled, but I'm a spectator. I'll okay. keep it there. Just to expand on that, what are some of your favorite movies then? Favorite movies? Yeah. I like Mortal Kombat. Oh, nice. That's my all-time favorite. Um, we've been. It's funny. <laughs> it's funny that you asked this because this tour we were talking about our favorite. I know this is taking it off quickfire. That's fine. But we were talking about our favorite movies, and I was talking about how I like can't figure out what mine are. Um, let's roll with. He likes Harry Potter one through eight. Harry Potter. Are you a big, are you one a big Harry seven. Potter fan? He is. I'm not. He's a massive fan. He borrowed me yeah. the DVDs though, and I watched them. Collectively, my favorite movie. Like, it, okay. I, I'm. You know what I mean? Like, I combine them into one to make my favorite movie. <laughs> Besides that, I'm gonna go with a Bronx Tale. He does talk about Classic. it all the time. Okay. And then when he shared one through seven with you, what were your thoughts on it? Did you agree? Like, were you digging it? I don't it? want to hear it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm assuming it's no. a different opinion. He, it was fun because I would shoot over some thoughts and questions, and, and he was good at answering and discussing and stuff. Um, it's got his problems, but overall, <laughs> it's pretty good. The last couple were pretty wild. You got to be there. You got to be there. You can't come back to him later. I'm a fan. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> to, <laughs> to wrap everything up today is there anything you want to say to all of your fans who are going to be viewing the interview uh, what up support Run For Cover Records support Turnover, Sorority Noise Milk Teeth, Triple B Records and me and Jake go to a local show Agree. There you have it, everybody. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank, Thank you. you. My pleasure. And remember to everyone viewing, you can visit us at musicblogyad.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite bands. We'll see you next time.